Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can use Adobe After Effects with Adobe Media Encoder. So if you guys want to learn how to do it, just follow the steps that I'm going to show you. As you can see guys, I'm right now in Adobe After Effects and this is how the homepage looks like. So right here in the homepage, if you go to the left side of your screen, right here you're going to find all of these options. Here you can start a new project, here you can open a project, right here you're going to find new team project and open a team project. So right now I'm going to click on create a new project and then I'm going to uh, select the media you want to work with. So for example, I'm going to select this video and then once you add your video, you're going to find this right here in layers. And basically guys, right here in this page, you're going to find all of the tools that you will need in order to customize your video. So basically guys, once you finish customizing your video, just go ahead and click on file here in the top. And then right here, as you can see guys, you're gonna find all of these options, new, open project, open team project, browsing bridge, close, close project, save as, and so on. And here you're gonna find import, import recent footage, and lastly, export here in export. If you click on it right here, you're going to find add to Adobe Media Encoder queue, add to render queue, export Adobe Premiere Pro project, add max on Cinema 4D exporter. So right now I'm going to click on add to Adobe Media Encoder queue. And then once you do that, it will be added to Adobe Media Encoder. As you can see, guys, I have this error right here because I don't have Adobe Media Encoder. But if it's installed, it will take the video directly to Adobe Media Encoder Q. So this is it guys for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.